Hi everybody, I want to do a no contact reading. So this is for those of you that are not in contact with your person. I'm going to look into what the divine feminine is feeling, what the divine masculine is feeling, and then what the details are around this situation. Like why, you know, who should contact who, um, you know, just what's going on regarding, you know, someone reaching out, either you reaching out to them or them reaching out to you. So let's see. Let's look at what the Divine Feminine is feeling first. Knight of Wands reversed. The Seven of Swords. The Six of Wands. The Three of Wands. The wheel, the five of swords, and the page of wands reversed. And then we have the nine of pentacles. Okay. Sorry, let me adjust this just a little bit for you guys. So you can see this better. Okay. So regarding what the divine feminine is feeling, with the Knight of Wands reversed, I feel like she she gets the sense that everything is just moving too slowly here. And you know what? That's totally okay. I'm so tired of seeing twin flame readers that are just love and light and positive vibes only. Like that energy does have a place in my readings and in, you know, everybody's readings, but there's shadow work to be done too. And we're human. You know, it's normal for us to be angry. It's normal for us to be upset. It's normal for us to cry. It's totally healthy. It's totally normal. I will never understand these readers that try to convince people to suppress their, you know, negative emotions, as they call them, and, you know, waste, spend their lives waiting for someone to come around. I'll never understand that. Like, you feminines have every right and every reason to be angry, to be frustrated, to be sad, to be heartbroken. It's totally normal and it's totally healthy to allow yourself to feel those feelings, to release the, you know, to let that pain come up. You don't want to suppress it. And, you know, what I'm getting for a lot of the divine feminines here in this energy, and I'm in this energy group too, so I can, you know, re relate to it and resonate with it really well. Um, is just a lot of pain, a lot of frustration, a lot of, you know, being tired of uh, things being stagnant here, you know. And I just want to say, I just want to put that out there because I know so many readers will tell you like, oh, just be patient, be patient, be patient. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, you know, sometimes I'll tell you that. Sometimes I will. Sometimes I'll, you know, I'll let you know what's going on. I try to be unbiased, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm just giving you, I'm just letting you guys know what the story is. It's up to you what you want to do with it. But I totally understand feminines not being patient. You don't have to just be patient and just be love and light and positive thinking all the time. It's totally normal to be angry. It's totally normal to be sad. It's totally normal to be confused. You know, you have to integrate your shadow self. You know, you have to have a good balance between light and dark, um, good and bad emotions. You know what I mean? Um, you don't want to suppress those negative emotions. You want to feel them, acknowledge them. Otherwise they just come out later in uglier ways. And I feel, cause I feel like that's kind of the case, what's going on now. A lot of you have just been really patient and you've had a lot of faith in your divine masculine. And so you've been waiting and you've been told by readers to, you know, wait, it's coming, it's coming. And, and I'll tell it like, if it's, if it's close, like I'll let you guys know. And I do feel that I do feel like it is close, but that doesn't mean that you need to just like that doesn't mean that you shouldn't feel your feelings. That doesn't mean that you should suppress your feelings. That doesn't mean that you should make excuses. You know what I mean? Because you can be pissed off at your divine masculine and still love him and still want to be with him. You know, anger doesn't mean that you don't love him or that you don't want him. Like you can feel that anger and still want a future with him. And I'm feeling that energy here. There's a lot of pain and frustration and confusion but it's like you still want him. You still want your divine masculine. You want this knight of pentacles. You want what you've been working for. This is reward after hard work. You want all of this to be for something. All this pain, all this heartbreak, all this confusion. You know, you want it to make your relationship stronger in the end. 
And I feel like some of you, it's like you really want things to move quickly here with the Knight of Wands reversed. It's like you want fast movement. You want this to come in soon. But with it reversed, it's like a lot of your passion is just kind of stinted almost. It's like you're, you don't know what to do with all this energy. There's lots of confusion. Seven of Swords can be about dishonesty and escapism. I feel like this is kind of what you feel like the masculine is doing. Like he's just escaping. He's not, he's not stepping up. He's not being... He's not acting like the man you believe him to be. He's not, um, I mean, he's being scared, honestly. Honestly, these, these masculines are being scared. They're, I don't know how, I don't know a nice way to say it, but, you know, some of you are kind of at this point where you're like, come at, you see this energy? I always take this, even though it's about like dishonesty and escapism, the Son of Swords traditionally, whenever I see this, I always see like a come at me bro kind of energy where it's like, she's like, I'm here, I'm vulnerable, like, show me what you've got. Like, she's she's in the public eye. She's being forward about her feelings. So this could be you're posting on social media um, or telling mutual friends that you're upset about this. And maybe your mutual friends are going back and telling him about how you're feeling. This is like, this is like, this energy right here tells me you're not hiding from this connection. You want this love. You want him to step up and to be, to treat you right, you know? Like, you want him to, you know communicate and move this relationship forward finally you know you want this you want this deep connection with him you want this love you want you know you want everything you've been fighting for here and it's like you're in the public eye here it's like you're not you know I just see this as like come at me bro like what have you got is this really it come on now like like a I don't want to say a confrontational energy but almost like like some, like some of you have been suppressing your emotions regarding this, like you've been heartbroken, but you've been trying to be strong and you've been trying to hold on and you've been trying to, it's like you see these readings where it's like, oh, he's coming back soon. He's coming back soon. And I do feel that energy. I do feel like these masculines are coming back soon. But I mean, I also, at the same time, I don't want to encourage people to, um, to spend their lives like just waiting for somebody either. You know what I mean? But it's hard because it's like, this is your person. This is your true love. So what do, what do you do? You know, it's it's a difficult situation. Um, but so many of you have been just been trying to, it's like you've been ignoring your shadow side. You've been ignoring the, the anger. You've been ignoring the pain. You've been kind of suppressing that pain. You've been, um, you know, trying to just be positive and just be like, okay, well, I know these readers are saying he's coming back soon. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to have faith. And I feel like the feminines are really starting to lose faith. They're really starting to just not trust their masculine anymore. They're starting to not believe in their masculine anymore. And it's sad because, you know, every day that goes by with no contact, th these feelings get more intense. The pain gets more intense because everything that the feminine has suppressed, all that pain, you know, she was, she was trying to be hopeful and strong. And I feel like now all that pain is coming to the surface and it's very, it's very intense here. And she's very public about it. She's not trying to hide that she's in pain. You know, she's very forward about it. She's very, I feel like, you know, a lot of these feminines are, you know, you guys are posting on social media, talking to friends, you're, um, you know, whatever you're doing, it's like you're make, you're letting, and this could be telepathic too, but whatever it is, it's like you're letting the masculine know that, hey, like I am in pain. I am, I am frustrated. I can't, you know, I'm still in shock that, you know, you've gone so long without talking or that you, you know, some of them might have cheated on you or some of them might have betrayed you in other ways or some of them, um, you know, there's, there's different stories here, but you know, some of you are kind of still in shock and you're like, okay, well, like, are we going to do this or what? Are you, are you in or are you out? Like, I'm tired of, I'm tired of this. You know, some of you are just in that energy where you're like very public about how you're feeling and about the pain you're in. And, um, you know, you're wanting to build, you're wanting to rebuild though, even though you're frustrated and you're in pain, you're still wanting to rebuild with this person. You know, you're still, I always see the three of wands as like, I always notice like, you know, with, with this energy, at least like how I see her, it's like, she's like in her power. It's like, she's trying to take her power back here. She's, um, I don't know why I'm immediately when I saw that card, you know, I immediately got like, she wants to build. She wants to, you know, she's trying to be strong. You know, and she's, she doesn't know. It's like this, this cycle. She does, she's not sure what to do, you know, with the wheel card, wheel card here. It's like a, you know, 
She's tired of it. She wants this cycle to end where she's just in pain and just waiting and just confused. Um, and she doesn't want to have to be defensive anymore. She doesn't. She wants to be able to trust her divine masculine. She wants to be able to be honest with him. She wants to be able to um, confide in him, to be cuddly with him, to be gentle with him, to be in that feminine energy with him, you know, to be very gentle and vulnerable. So many of these, these feminines are like they were in a feminine energy with the masculine, like they were the one that was cuddly and gentle and vulnerable. And so many of them are, you know, transitioning to like a more um, dominant masculine energy just because they have to, because he's not being dominant. He's not being in that masculine energy. So some of them are, some of them are just stepping up and doing it, but it's like, Five of Swords, yeah, Page of Wands reversed. It's like she feels hopeless here, but she really does still want this new start. She's she's kind of torn. It's like part of her still has faith and hope, and then this other part of her is just heartbroken and frustrated and confused and, you know, wondering, did this man ever really even love me? You know, Nine of Pentacles here. This is like reward after hard work. So, it's, you know, like I was saying, this is like someone, it's like she wants what she's earned. She wants, you know what I mean? Like she, she wants, you know, she went through all of this. She wants it to be for something. She wants to end this cycle of having to be defensive and having to be on guard and having to be like dominant and having, to, you know, having to watch her back, um, and not being able to trust him. I think that hurts her. You know what I mean? Like, I think a lot of these feminines, it's like, you know, you feel like you can't really trust your person now. You feel like you're starting to not believe in your person anymore, but it's hurting you. It's it's like it makes you sad. It, it, you know, breaks your heart. And like you just want that cycle to end so that you can, you know, both of you as a couple can move past this and, you know, the masculine can rebuild your trust and rebuild your faith. You know, you want that back. You want that ability to trust him and believe in him back again you know like a lot of you feminines want that um you don't want to have to watch your back you don't want to have to be in this dominant energy just because he's you know being a scaredy cat and not wanting to step up you know a lot of you are just really you know it's like you've had so much faith in him and he's just kind of um you know, he's, he's listening. It's like the masculines are, I hate to say it, but it's like, they're just, they're listening to their own fears and insecurities and they're putting the feminines last. They're not thinking about your fears, your insecurities, your heartbreak, your confusion. They're just thinking about how they're feeling in this present moment. And I did a few other readings. Um, I'm going to post five readings total at the same time. So there's a couple other ones that were third party updates that I just did. And it resonates with this energy where it's like, you know, so many of them are in limbo because they've just, so for those of you that are in third party situations, so many of them have just left the karmic, you know, they've moved out, they moved into new living situations and it's a beautiful energy. And it's really, it's like the divine feminine is so proud of the masculine for doing that, for finally standing up for himself, for being assertive, for using his intuition finally. But then it's like so many of them are in limbo and, you know, instead of reaching out and starting something here, they're, you know, they're partying or they're sexting or they're going to strip clubs or whatever they might be doing. They're just trying to make themselves feel better. They're trying to, you know, like they're, they're healing and they're, um, they're in this, you know, like limbo basically, you know what I mean? Like kind of in between, like, okay, where do I go from here? What's next? And you know, I get needing some time to heal. I think that's normal, but I think that, um, like the sexting and the strip clubs and whatever else they're doing is not, I don't think that's really acceptable. Um, and it's like I said, so many of them are just still considering their own feelings above yours. They're not thinking about how scared you are or how scared you were or how heartbroken you are. They're just thinking about how they feel. It's just all about how they feel. And it's really, it's sad. It's upsetting. Um, especially since you allowed this person to pretty much hold your heart in, in your hand, in their hands, you know, like you gave this person everything you, you know, you had faith, you had trust in this person and they're, they're constantly showing you that they're going to put their, their feelings and their needs above yours. And, um, it's just an upsetting energy. It really is. I don't even know what to, 
It's like... These Divine Feminines just want their faith justified. They want, you know... I'm going to look into... Let's see here. Let me get a new spread here really quick. And it's sad because some of these masculines will watch these videos and be like, like, still be insecure. You know what I mean? Some of these masculines will watch these, like, will see this and be and still be like, oh, see, she hates me or see, she's, you know, she would reject me or she would this. And it's all in their head. It's like, how do you get that from this energy? You know what I mean? Like, the divine feminine is practically screaming, like, just step into your power and communicate and start a life with me. You know, I still love you. And yet, you know, these masculines like to sabotage and they'll hear what they want to hear. They'll, they'll, they'll take something positive where it's just, you know, you know, some of them are watching readings on YouTube where it's like they're, you know, they're actually being told to reach out to their divine feminine and they'll fixate on one little couple sentences where, you know, someone said, oh, the divine feminine is anger. The divine feminine is heartbroken. And they'll sabotage and they'll be like, see, like she's, you know, happier without me, I bet. Or see, like she's angry, she'd probably reject me. And it's like not the case. It's just in these masculines' heads. You know, if these masculines reached out to you, out, reached out to the feminine, the majority of feminine, I'm pretty sure all the feminines in this energy group, I would say, would welcome them with open arms. They would be proud of them for having the guts to reach out. They would, you know, reciprocate that love and that affection. They would want to see the masculine. They would want to, you know, start a life with the masculine. They would want to, you know, start a, re start a relationship again with the masculine. Like, so many of these feminines are just waiting. Like, they have all this love to give. They really do. But so many of these masculines are just, they're just sabotaging. And they're just, you know, they feel the feminine's frustration. And they misinterpret that as you know her being closed off when it's not really the case she's actually completely open and completely vulnerable to the masculine you know she still loves him she still wants a relationship with him she really does want a relationship with him but you know he's got to step up he just has to step up um, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit too I want to look into what the masculine's feeling and then I'm going to look into um I can feel this collective frustration and it's like, you know, like I said, feminines, like you are entitled to your feelings. Do not let other readers or anyone, don't let me, don't let other readers, don't let anybody convince you to just suppress these feelings. Like, like I said, you can be angry and upset and hurt and confused and still love him and still hold space for him. You know, it's not like you have to choose between these two different energies. You can be diverse you know, you can, you can simultaneously love someone and still be angry at them. You can simultaneously, you know, want a future with your divine masculine and still feel like your trust is broken and like he needs to, you know, work on building that trust again. But um, anyway, I'm going to look into what the masculines are feeling. I do feel like, and check back too, because like I said, I'm posting five videos total. So this is one of them. And there's two third-party updates, and then I'm going to do a, a, a reading about Mercury retrograde because I feel like there's some miscommunication. I feel like some of the masculines cheated just because they assumed the feminines were cheating or they assumed the feminine met someone else when that's actually not the case. You know, most of you feminines have not met anybody else. Um, but some of them are just assuming that, you know, you have. It's just it's such a weird energy. But anyway, I'm going to do a Mercury retrograde reading, and then I'm also going to do a, a general love reading, whatever the cards want to say about love right now. So so check back for those other readings if this is resonating with you. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to look into what the masculine's feeling, and then I'm going to look into what happens if the feminine reaches out first, and what happens if the masculine reaches out first. And I can already say just from the energy and just from you know, from being in this, this group myself. And I, and, and like, you know, I'm in this energy group and this is my story. This is my, my reading too. But like, you know, sometimes the cards surprise me and tell me things that I didn't even know when I do these readings. And I also make sure, you know, that this is for everybody. This isn't just for me. This is for everybody in this group. That's why I'm able to tap into this energy so well though, because I'm in, I'm in the group with you guys. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to look into what the masculine's feeling. I'm going to look into 
what happens if he reaches out first, what happens if she reaches out first. And please notice, note too that, um, Note too that, you know, this could apply to gay and lesbian relationships too. It's just whoever is in, you know, it, it, masculine typically means male, but it doesn't have to. And same with feminine. It typically means female, but it doesn't have to. It's just, you know, take it how it resonates. If you know that you're, you know, a male in feminine energy or a female in, in masculine energy, that's totally fine. Just, you know, apply it how it resonates for you. But what are the masculines feeling? But yeah, I just want to say, like, I feel like... There's going to be a major energy difference if the feminine has to reach out first. It's not going to be good. And that's so the person that that broke that left or ghosted or broke up with with whoever is the one that should reach out first. You know, cuz the ball is in their court. If someone ends a connection, the ball is in their court to start that connection back up again. And so I feel like so many of, the, of these feminines know that. They know that the ball is in the divine masculine's court. And, you know, I think they also just want to test it and see like, okay, like how long could he go without talking to me? And it's almost like, you know, the longer the masculines go, the more she just feels like he never loved her. Cause she's like, okay, like someone that loved me wouldn't be able to go this long without talking to me. Someone that loved me would not be able to go this long without talking to me. It's like, like she's kind of getting in her head now a little bit, you know? And like I said, feel those feelings, feel that frustration. It's only human, you know, like just you can journal, you can do, you know, do whatever with it, but don't try to suppress it and pretend like it's not there. If you sweep something, something under the rug, it's just going to come out worse in uglier ways like later on, which like I said, is kind of what's happening now a little bit. I mean, it's not like, I don't think it's that intense, but I think it's like a lot of these feminines have been trying to be you know, positive and hopeful and like, okay, I'm going to give him space and I'm sure he'll come back around. And now they're kind of getting to that point where they're like, wow, like, look how long it's been since we talked. Like, wow, he really like kind of rethinking everything. Like, wow, maybe he really didn't love me. Maybe this was just some kind of game to him. You know, maybe I was just a fling to him. Um, like so many of you guys, like I've tuned into it. I feel like the collective frustration, like when I channel these energies, you know, and sometimes I get specific messages for specific people that, that watch my videos too. But, um, but yeah, I just want to say there's going to be a major energy difference, you know, for the, for the divine masculines, if you're watching this and you're the one that left, a lot of these feminines are really, they miss you. They love you. They're longing for you. And a lot of them are really close to caving and messaging you. Like, I feel like this could actually come in this weekend or, you know, probably next week at latest, I would say it's coming in soon. But honestly, the energy difference is you're not going to like the energy difference if she has to message you first because she's going to be pissed off and she's going to be frustrated and she's always going to remember that you would have gone for, you know, God knows how long not talking to her had she not reached out first. She'll always remember that she had to reach out first and the dynamics in your relationship are going to be different. It's like she's going to be in a more dominant role. Um, like, like not in a positive way. I just mean in like a negative way. Like she's going to be the one, like, it's, it's just going to be different. You know what I mean? It's like she might reach out, but she's going to be like, hey, like, do you love me or not? Like, like what like what's going on how could you go this long without talking to me you know like am I even on your mind like you know so many of these feminines are close to reaching out but it's like they're they're pissed off about the fact that they actually have to reach out that they have to be the first one to do it and let me just tell you masculines if you're watching this and you're the one that left you know, your feminine's not going to see you as a real man anymore if she has to reach out first. I hate to say it that bl bluntly, but that's pretty much what I feel from this. She's not going to trust you anymore. She's not going to feel safe with you anymore if she has to reach out first. She's always going to remember that she had to reach out first. And she'll still love you. She'll still want to be with you. You know, she'll, she'll, she might be angry, but she still wants to be with you. But the, the relationship is going to be different. It's going to be like, she's scared. She's distrusting that vulnerability that you felt from her before where she would just, you know, curl up in your arms or just, you know, however your, your relationship was where it's like, you were just kind of trusting and gentle and loving. It'd be different. It'd be like, she, she wouldn't feel that cuddly with you. She would be kind of in her head. She would be distant. She might be tempted to sabotage, you know, it would be, it would stick in her head. Just the fact that she actually had to reach out first after you were the one that left. It's, it's going to stick in her head. 
she's going to remember that. And she's, you know, her faith and her trust in you is just going to be gone. So, and you can rebuild that. You can. I'm not saying that you can't, you know, but it might take months. It might take months to get her back to a point where she really trusts you and believes in you again. It might take a long time. It might be a lot of, um, you know, unnecessary tension, you know, where she actually, you know, where it's like you just have to rebuild, you know, it's, it's like you're, you're almost rebuilding from scratch. And it's like, do you really want to go through that? Do you really want to go? Do you really want to have to deal with her trust issues for months to get her back to a point where she finally believes in you and finally trusts you again and finally feels safe and secure with you again, you know, and finally is, you know, open to being in her feminine energy again and relaxing with you and, and believing in what you say? Do you really want to go through a struggle to have to get her back to that point where she's in the energy she used to be in with you, you know? Because it's like, yeah, she loves you either way. She loves you and she wants to be with you either way here. You know, whether she reaches out first or you reach out first, she wants you either way. You know, she still wants this connection with you. She still wants the marriage and the family and everything else with you. But it, it's kind of the issue here is how difficult is it going to be to get to that point? How much of a struggle is it going to, you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, this is ultimately destiny. This is, you guys are meant to have this together. So you will have this together. You know, the divine will intervene and make sure that this happens. But, you know, how deep do you want her trust issues to be when, when this, when this comes into play? How much do you want to have to go through with her to get her to trust you again? Um, it's like that kind of energy where it's like, you don't really have to worry about her leaving. Like she's not, she's not going anywhere. You know, she knows that you're her person. Even when you piss her off, she still knows that you're the one for her. She still loves you with all her heart. Um, so you really don't need to worry about her leaving. But what you do need to worry about is how she sees you. Does she see you as her protector? Does she see you as someone that she feels safe with? Does she see you as someone that she believes in? Does she believe in the relationship? Or is she, you know, going to see you as someone that just broke her heart again and again? Someone that she can't trust. Someone that she has to, you know, be in that five of swords, like on guard energy with. Like, you know, masculines, if you left, it's up to you how, you know, what path you go down. Either way, it's ultimately going to lead to marriage and to family and to, you know, living together. But, you know, one path is going to be a lot harder and a lot more painful than the other. It's going to be, you know, a lot like very deep trust issues. Because like I said, a lot of these feminines, it's like they're, they're really close to breaking. They're really close. Like th this could come in this weekend. This, this message from the feminine could come in this weekend or it could come in, I, I would say within the next week for the majority. But like I said, she's not going to. She's not going to trust you or believe in you. And she's always going to remember that she had the message first. Like th there's going to be a lot of damage. I know it seems simple, like, oh, what, whatever. She had a message first. It's not that big of a deal. But honestly, it is kind of a big deal because she'll always, you know, have that in the back of her head. Like, OK, he went this long without talking to me. So how long would he have gone if I hadn't reached out first? Like, would he would we have just not talked anymore? Would he, was he just letting me go? Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're going to question that. They're not going to they're not going to forget that they had to message first. So honestly, masculines, if you're the one that left, I would I would step up and message first because the energy is going to be drastically different. Like you might have like a little bit of frustration and pain from them, but it's it's going to be way different. They're going to be open. They're going to reciprocate. They're going to. um you know, they're, they're, they're just going to, their energy is just going to be much different. They're still going to have faith in you. They're still going to believe in you. And they're going to be proud of you for being able to reach out first, even when you were afraid. They're going to realize like, hey, like this person does love me. This person wasn't okay with letting me go. Like this, you know what I mean? Like they're just, they're going to see you as differently. They're going to see you as a real man still, basically. They're going to see you in that masculine energy still. They're going to, they're going to have that trust and that faith in you. They're going to be like, okay, wow. Like, yeah, a long time went by, but at least he finally did message and he finally did let me know that he loves me and wants me in his life, you know? And they're going to be really proud of you for that because they know you're scared and they're going to be very sensitive with you because they know that you're afraid too, you know, and they're going to be really proud of you for, um, you know, for messaging first. And they're going to, like I said, they're going to be really, they're going to reciprocate your energy. Like a lot of the masculines are afraid that they won't like, but no, I feel like the feminine is going to reciprocate your energy. She's going to be open. She's going to be loving. 
you know, she's going to be, like I said, really proud of you for messaging first because she knows you're scared. Um, and just that conversation is going to be much different than if she has to message first. She's going to come at you probably aggressively if she has to message first, honestly. But um, I don't see any aggression if you message first. I feel like she's not going to be aggressive because she's going to be sensitive because she's going to know that that took a lot of, of guts for you to message first and you to put yourself out there. And she's going to be proud of you for, you know, stepping up and really putting yourself out there and being vulnerable. It's going to mean a lot to her. So she's going to be really sensitive and gentle with your energy and, um, you know, very mindful of how she talks to you. She's going to make, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's, it's, it's a much more open, healthy conversation that leads to reconciliation is what I'm feeling if you message first. But honestly, I would do this now. I wouldn't wait. I don't think it's worth it to wait and risk you know, her coming back to you, but her not trusting you at all when she comes back to you. It's like, do you, you know what I mean? Like I would just, I would message now, honestly. Um, I would not let the feminines get to that point. It's just not worth it. Um, I mean, just the relationship issues you both will have if she has to message first, it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a struggle to get her back to the point where she trusts you again. So, so yeah, I just want to put that out there. I'm going to look into what the masculine's feeling. And I know a lot of these masculines, it's like, because I did get the before that the karmic was giving these masculines these illusions that, you know, the feminine's in danger, so you can't talk to her, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I feel like the masculines know better by now, but some of them still use that as an excuse to sabotage. And they have to cut that out, honestly. Because the feminine is not in danger. Honestly, the feminine is good. Her... Her energy, the feminine's energy is, this is for those of you in third party, um, in the third party energy group that I channel. I know this is not going to apply to everybody, but for those of you that are in third party situations, it's like the feminine's good. She's not in danger. You know what I mean? Like she's a, she's powerful. The karmic is, her energy is, the karmic has no energy. You know, the karmic has no power. She's just, the karmic is narcissistic. So she has this illusion of power, but she doesn't have any real actual power. The divine feminine, on the other hand, does have power. So the divine feminine is safe. You know, her job is safe. Her, you know, everything is safe. Whatever the karmic's threatened, it's like, it's an illusion. She can't take anything from the feminine. So for those masculines saying like, oh, I have to stay away because I'm protecting the feminine. You're not protecting jack shit, honestly. The feminine's already protected. She's already good. So... You know, if you're telling yourself that you have to, you know, be distant to protect her, you're not protecting her. The divine feminine is already safe. She's protected either way. So don't use that as an excuse to to be a coward, honestly. I hate to say it like that, but that was harsh. Okay, I don't want to say it like that, but damn. That just came out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like because I'm feeling like the collective frustration, it's not just me. It's like because I channel all these feminines that are like, damn, like, is this, like, is he a real man or not? Like, I, I feel like, you know, like, when I, when I tune into this energy group, it's like, damn, I feel all this frustration from you guys, like, like, all of it just, you know, because I feel, you know, that's, you know, when I channel, it's like, I feel all your emotions. I feel, you know, sometimes I'll just get these, you know, names or, or things that pop into my head, and it's like, oh, it's just intense. And so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, masculines, if that, that was harsh. I'm sorry. But that just kind of, that came through with the, the collective divine feminine um, energy. Just what they're feeling, what they're thinking right now is like, like, step up. <laughs> Shit. Um, wow, it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy. I'm sorry, guys. I know it gets intense. <laughs> But um, where was I going with that? All right. Okay. So, so many of these, these masculines, you know, tell themselves like, oh, the karmic threatened this or the karmic threatened that. So I have to keep my distance. And it's just not true. Like, and you guys know that you masculines, like the masculines know that deep down, they know that the karmics, you know, threats and lies are just illusion. The karma cannot take a single thing from the divine feminine. And like, you know, I've already, I don't want to get too much into it because I know not everybody's in the third party and I want to look into what the masculine is feeling here too. But, you know, just to reiterate what I've said before, like all the energy that the karmic sent out towards the masculine and towards the feminine is coming back on the karmic tenfold. So if she wishes for the feminine to lose her job, the karmic's going to lose her job just for wishing that on her. 
if she wishes, you know, if she tries to, you know, hex the feminine or hex the masculine, that hex is, it's not going to touch the feminine or the masculine. 